Hey guys, how you doing? JP Saricolia here. The Pacific War is here. And wow, what an experience. Definitely something that Battlefield 5 needed so badly. And now it's here. And it's kind of surreal. And at the same time, there's so much to talk about. A lot of good, uh, some bad. There's a lot really to de deconstruct about this new update into the game and i want to concentrate on this video in Iwo Jima or Iwo Jima as we pronounce it in english which is the battle of Iwo Jima is a, it's a classic battle of world war ii it's a, a historical battle that is so important for the americans in the pacific front and definitely is represented in this video game in a definitely is, is very surreal it's a very realistic way so in this video i'm going to break down the good and the bad the things that i really like and the things that in my opinion need some improvement improvement so stay tuned the good the first thing that comes to mind is definitely when you're playing this game is how gorgeous it is this map is really beautiful uh, DICE has done a fantastic job in really bringing this historical side to life and, and it is gorgeous. Um, there's an eerie spooky feeling when you're disembarking for the first time where you you know your, your feet are touching the sand and when you have to take the beach the first section definitely it's just an experience that you have to live on and the first thing that came to mind was uh, you know i was thinking about the people that were there um the the actual people that were in the physical battle and um what was going through their minds you know the fear the you know the stamina i would say the adrenaline just pumping everywhere i feel that this is uh dice has done a fantastic job recreating that feeling uh and it, the sound is perfect i like the sound the music that goes along with it Every Everything. It's just an experience and definitely uh, dies again has done a fantastic job uh, You know making you feel like you are part of it Another great thing about the game is how it's morally design is one of the I would say the biggest complaints from a lot of players a lot of uh, in this case uh, battlefield players is the fact that many of the maps in battlefield 5 are really a bit cumbersome at times and but here it's so smartly designed everything is an uphill battle you are taking from the moment that you are landing at the beach you have to take that first section then you have to go to the lookout over the beach that's the second section then the third section is the hill in between the beach and uh, mount Surubachi. and then there's the next section where you have as at the feet of the volcano uh, and then the one before last is the one inside the volcano, which is definitely a choke point because you are inside the volcano. There's a lot of tunnels and it can get really chaotic, but in a really fun way. And then the last section, which is at the top of Mount Suravachi. It is an amazing experience. You have to go up uphill battle if you, of course, are, are you know attacking as the Americans or if you're defending as a Japanese, the experience is amazing. Definitely, I find it that there was uh, smartly designed. This ne I never felt like in other maps uh, in Battlefield that I felt that everything was kind of uh, stuck in the middle and you feel like you're in this choke points unable to really take over. It's definitely designed in a way that really makes it fast paced. So it definitely benefits attackers more than defenders, but also it gives a, a you know well-trained team of defenders opportunities for them to really hold Ford uh, and sometimes you know uh, to their advantage now the new weapons that are given with this uh, new update from the moment that you start the update they're free uh, for all players you don't have to unlock them they're just great weapons sometimes you get some weapons in battlefield that are really not that great you know but you know it's, it's good that you get new weapons and you can try out and some are better than others but i feel that all those weapons that were provided with this update are amazing in their own right they are fantastic you have of course the assault class you have the m1 garand which is a an iconic weapon i think the most wanted from all the weapons on a battlefield this is the one that people wanted the most and man it's it's an amazing weapon it is just fantastic it's kind of overpowered in some ways but it is good and it is fun and this is what really uh the gaming is all about it's about really having an experience and the m1 grand is the perfect all-around weapon a semi-automatic rifle that can be used on mid-range even to high range you can use in all different formats you can change and optimize to your liking and i really like that but you also have the japanese type 100 smg for the medic class 
fantastic love the rate of fire on this one definitely a, a, a good smg you also have the m1919 a6 and mmg which is the browning machine gun it needs to be by potted but man it's such a killer weapon and man uh, if you optimize it properly you can really use it for uh, you know for defense in that really fantastic way the recon class gets the type 99 arisaka bolt action rifle which i can tell you one thing i really enjoy a lot it's definitely a great weapon Weapon. Not different than others, but I found to be very, uh, I don't know, I find it a delight. I really enjoy it. And this game really gives the opportunity for mid-range sniping in a good way, whether attacking or defending. Also, there are other weapons uh, that are also provided through uh, the chapter rewards. You got the jungle uh, carbon you, for the medic class. You got the Type 94 sidearm, which is a Japanese sidearm. You got the Model 27 revolver by Smith & Wesson. Those are great weapons and definitely uh, you can unlock them uh, as you progress through the different chapter, through the chapter. And, and that's good. I really, uh, this it's kind of like the chapter rewards that you found in Black Ops 4, which is an interesting new take into it. Uh, so the more you play, you can unlock them or you can actually also buy your way in. You can just, uh, you know, pay for it, which, you know, I'm not the type of person that's going to do that. But the option is there if you don't have the time to really put the effort into trying to unlock all of this and make points uh, but also you get the m2 flamethrower and you get the katana uh, and those are pickup weapons that they're scattered throughout the map and man i didn't expect this to be so you know so fun the, the flamethrower really gives new tools for attack and also for the fans the katana is super fun and definitely i didn't know that i would like him so much uh you can say that it might be a bit gimmicky uh particularly the katana but uh, it feels good and definitely adds a, a level of fun to the game um that is different you know and i really like that part one weapon that really comes in hand is the Flieger Foss Air Rocket Launcher. Uh, it is a fantastic tool in your arsenal, particularly when you have to defend against those, you know, pesky uh, planes that are all over the place throwing bombs and really destroying your team. And man, they're really overpowered. Yes, they are, but they're fun to play, uh, you know, and we needed something like this uh, because a lot of people, they really take advantage of the weapons to the point that they can rack it a lot of points. If you know how to or, you know fly you know well and you kind of like know how to do it you can really rack it a lot of points and there was no much you know defense mechanisms against it well now uh, you know it is there and i think this is one of the funnest things i have done in battle fear in, in quite some time the new vehicles also add another layer of realism to the game, which I really like, like the M4 Sherman, the Type 97 Japanese tank. Uh, all of them are really great. I really like that. You got the LVT, the Kami Amphibious tank. You got the Dingy, to pretty much just to disembark and uh, to the beach. Uh, there's the MBG, the Type 95 uh, vehicle. All fantastic. Uh, but I think the fact of the planes, in this case, the F4U Corsair and the Japanese Zero Fighters, are probably some of the ones that people love the most. But one that really caught my attention, I think is a great addition, is the new reinforcement rocket barrage tanks, uh, like the Kali Up and the Chiha. Man, I didn't know that I would like him that much and hate him as, as much as well. Uh, because definitely they're fantastic, they're great for attack and also for defense. But um, I don't know, it just, it, I, I really like him. If people know how to use them properly, definitely becomes an experience with them. Uh, and definitely adds this chaos that, um, in this case, Battlefield is known for. Well, now it's time to talk about the bat. Uh, although DICE released update 5.0 ahead of the new maps, uh, there's still some bugs in the game. And I encounter some of them. Uh, throughout the different sessions. Uh, you get slowdowns, you get some flickering from time to time. Sometimes there's some weird animation happening, uh, or, or I encounter a lot of lag, which is kind of surprising. I do have great internet, the fastest internet uh, possible, and uh, I still encounter it more than before, even more than other times, uh, I, you know, and I play all the time. So I don't know if it has something to do with the servers or the people that are playing, but definitely I encounter a few of them, and they were kind of bothersome. Uh, of course, because they take you away from the experience. You are playing the experience. Everything looks so neat and gorgeous. And all, all of a sudden, there's some weird bug happening. So definitely, I feel that they, they need to update some of that. That's something that we encounter a lot with Battlefield. It's something normal. 
but you know it shouldn't be the norm you know you want things to kind of you know the frame also to be kept at the same uh, the same level i don't know if there was some frame drop but i noticed that there were times that i felt the, the frame drop and i play on console so i imagine that for pc players it's a different experience they, they can notice it even more than i can do on my console now it's important to point out that your experience in the game uh, it's link and depends heavily on your squad mates if you're playing with a season team people that know what they're doing you're gonna have a lot of fun but you're playing with a lot of uh noobs a lot of people that they just got into the game definitely that can limit that experience and uh it can be frustrating at times now on the 31st uh when it was released uh i had a lot of fun uh, a lot of people were playing this people are seasoned players people have been playing battlefield for quite some time so it was fun you know everybody knew exactly what they were doing everybody was testing the new weapons but you already have an idea now uh, throughout the weekend of course because of the free trial there were a lot of uh, newcomers, a lot of people that don't know have much experience, but of course, they heard about the game, they want to try the game, and uh, they're playing the game in a total different level. You know, many of them are not following directions, they're not really taking the sections they're not uh really they're just playing in most cases they have this mindset of other games where there is call of duty and so on so definitely that really hurts the experience a bit um uh, i wouldn't say that it's bad uh but definitely it's good when you're playing with people that know what they're doing you're gonna notice that i, I think after the trial ends so throughout the week of course now that we're going back to normal you're gonna see that people are really invested into it and maybe newcomers that really want to put the time on it and then you're going to see the people that are going to be, I would say, follow orders or do what they're supposed to do. And that, is, of course, is going to uh, make the experience a lot smoother. Another thing that people are complaining, and that's something that I don't complain much because I'm not really an aircraft pilot. I really don't pilot much in, in Battlefield. I never really cared much for it. I do from time to time, but it's not necessarily something that I really care much about. Uh, but a lot of people are complaining that the airplanes have been nerfed down. And of course, now things like the Flieger Foss uh, are definitely are killing a lot of planes. So definitely, of course, pilots are going to complain. But in my opinion, I think it's kind of good because sometimes though, some of those planes were too overpowered and there was no mechanism to defend them. But at the same time, I have to see it from the perspective of people that are, uh, you know, being piloting for quite some time that, you know, you don't want weapons to be nerfed down and necessarily um, just to balance or give you know benefit uh, you know poor players uh, people that don't know how to defend or how to counter attack those type of weapons or those type of vehicles but definitely I feel that that's another thing and I pointed that out because I know some people uh, find that dissatisfying now I want to share this and perhaps this is more like a nitpick uh, from my part rather than a problem with the game now when playing the game like I said before when you're landing at the beach it's an amazing experience uh, it's just so all uh, inspiring breathtaking um, but definitely I feel at times that it would have been so nice to see more bodies uh, at the beach more people more players uh, yes it might be more chaotic but definitely you had given a more sense of realism to the whole experience. But at the end, you know, we have to remember that the max count that you can have in a battlefield game is 32 versus 32, 64 plays at a time, which is the largest you get in, in, in battlefield. Uh, and it's been for years. So I feel that it's time maybe to increase that count, particularly in bigger maps, it would make the experience even more enjoyable. It is an, you know, it, it requires an engineering change of the, the entire game. Game, but definitely I feel that perhaps not for this game but perhaps for the future of Battlefield to see more more players uh, in each section uh, if Call of Duty Modern Warfare is doing it through ground war uh, they're able to go over a hundred players at a time why is this, why it's stopping you know Battlefield to really increase that count particularly with Battlefield has always uh, really praised itself or you know people praise it because it's the all-out type of war where you know I think it's time for battlefield to kind of change that uh not saying that the game is not enjoyable or chaotic at the time every time but i feel that it is time really to increase the count uh, so the experience is even more chaotic but at the same time more realistic in conclusion i definitely had a lot of fun with this new update the Pacific War, the two maps, the Iwo Jima and, uh, in this case, Pacific Island are fantastic. They're different, but they're fantastic. And in my opinion, Iwo Jima, at this point, 
is the most classic, but at the same time, the most enjoyable and also uh, a breath of fresh air for this game. You know, for the entire last year, we were dealing with a lot of frustration, lack of maps, lack of the content that people wanted. Yeah, there were a lot of weapons, there were some skins, there were this and that, but definitely the historical events were not there, or at least the ones that are more well known. And the fact that Iwo Jima, which is definitely a, a historical battle that is really well known, uh, not only through American history, through world history, uh, through the worldly events or the events of, uh, of World War II, um, also as part of Hollywood so many movies had you know really recreated the events definitely it's important that it is here and is really cementing the hegemony in this case of battlefield uh, on top of this type of games so of this big battlefront battlefields and uh, definitely in my opinion it pays off really well they did a fantastic job right now there is a package i think is year one year two where actually you can buy everything if you haven't played the game and you want to start definitely if you don't want to really have to unlock a lot of stuff because throughout the year of course we got a lot of weapons a lot of skins you can get that package and definitely you can get all the stuff and you can be up to speed of course you got to level up your weapons which are plenty but you're going to have fun in my opinion this is return to form for battlefield uh, this is the best map so far. While, for example, Operation Underground uh, is more close quarters and it's definitely a good close quarters type of map. This is a more open space, uh, uh, you know, a breakthrough, uh, conquest mode. Definitely it's something that you're going to see that really plays so well in the formula created by Battlefield. And I really had a lot of fun and I'm going to be playing this game. Stay tuned for my review of Pacific Island next, uh, but definitely have a lot of fun. But what is your opinion? What do you think about the game? Have you tried it? Have you, um, you know, tried any of these new maps? Uh, are, are you still on the fence? Are you playing Modern Warfare so you don't have time for this? Let me know in the comments below. I would like to hear it. So once again, my friends, thanks for watching. God bless, and I'll talk to you again. Bye-bye.